is success. For some, it is to gain the riches of the world. For others, it is to improve the world and make a difference. For still others, success is beating a video game. Welcome to another AP Psychology video. I'll be your hostess for the next few minutes, and today we're going to study how language and memory can influence success by playing Pokemon. Because I probably have video game addiction. So basically how Pokemon works is you catch and train creatures known as, well, Pokemon. Once you catch these Pokemon, you can use them in battle against other trainers. Every Pokemon has different types, so trainers have to use their memory in order to learn and remember the types of the 400 Pokemon that appear in Sword and Shield, or 890 if you want to memorize all of the Pokemon in existence. For instance, Fire-type moves are strong against Grass-type Pokemon, Grass is strong against Water, and Water is strong against Fire. Working memory comes into play during battles. When you see an opponent Pokemon, you have to recall its types, what it's weak to, what it's resistant to, and more if you want to battle competitively. Pokemon Sword and Shield take away some of that component. If you encounter a Pokemon once, it'll show you the effectiveness of your moves against that Pokemon, but since I'm starting a new file, that won't be an issue at first. Pokemon also uses a lot of divergent thinking. There's more than one strategy to winning a battle. You can attack directly, raise or lower stats, activate status conditions, and play with items or abilities, or... Yeah, you get the point. There's more than one way to knock out that dumb Charizard, oh my god. So today's goal is to complete a grand total of one gym in Pokemon Shield. But we're not going to just clear the first gym. We're going to do it while playing the game in Spanish. My possible options for this playthrough were German and Spanish, since I've studied both of those languages, but if you consider the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, and you consider that I haven't looked at German since 8th grade... Yeah, no, that would end really badly. I'm at least in a Spanish class now, so I have a little bit of base knowledge to work with. To understand the Spanish language which is thrown at me, I'm gonna have to use Wernicke's area, a part of the brain responsible for language comprehension and expression. I'll have to retrieve Spanish vocabulary that I learned in class, in order to understand what in the world is going on in this game. I hope that my Spanish is deeply processed. It would be bad if I looked at the dialogue and said, yeah, no, I have no idea what that means when it's vocabulary that I really, really should have learned in class. Thankfully, I have more to aid me than my minimal Spanish knowledge. I've already played the game in English, so I can use my hippocampus to remember explicit events which happened during the storyline. My semantic memory will allow me to remember specific facts and knowledge, such as the fact that the first gym is filled with grass-type Pokemon. My episodic memory will allow me to remember things like when I encounter Bede for the first time, because meeting Bede is definitely an experience. So, the goal of this video is for me to clear the first gym while translating as much Spanish as possible. Thus, my success can be measured by normal human standards and by nerd standards. Como te llamas? What is my name? That is an excellent question. Ten and cuenta... Once... Oh, once you select a language, you can't change it. Yes. So, I did start this game in Spanish a very long time ago, but what happened was... Okay. So I'm good at like memorizing vocabulary and like a lot of the Spanish vocab applies to this, but the problem is um, the grammar. You know, how you actually put words together in order for it to make sense. The back of the box says, hey, you need basic reading ability to fully enjoy the game. So like if you're a five, six, seven year old and you've been learning your Spanish, your entire life, then you'd probably be fine. But since um, I'm far past my critical period in learning Spanish, meaning I'm learning it far too late, <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for accompanying me in this celebration, well, this fabulous celebration of the world of Pokemon. I went through like the first two cutscenes in Spanish using a translator, so that's why I remember this. Serial position effect. It's the very beginning of the game. For those that don't already know me, I'm Rose. Or Rose, I guess. Because 
phenome. But in Spanish, you would say it's rosé. But in English, it's just rose. Oh, I have no idea what this means. Oh no, this doesn't stop. Okay, Lionel de Campion, that's all that I saw. Thanks, iconic memory. Big Charizard. And now we're starting. Oh boy, that was rough. That was really rough. It's Hop. Hop isn't his name in this game. Paul. Not Paul, because Paul is English. You should, um... Oh, he... Should have arrived at the station at Pueblo Park. What is Alta? I should know this! I've learned- okay, I learned this in Spanish one. Um, Alta is... It's not short. And La Hierba- okay, La Hierba is the grass. Alta is tall! That's what it is. You can't go in the tall grass without a Pokemon. <gasps> the grass-type Pokemon, Sobble, the fire-type Pokemon, Scorbunny, and the water-type Pokemon, Sobble. Wait, I said the gra grass-type Pokemon is groupy. I can't read. He's joined my team. I guess Sobble in Spanish is... Sable. But Sable sounds so much better. Um, we're gonna speed run to that next town. Though I do want to catch a couple of Pokemon. I don't know if I have Pokeballs though. Do I have Pokeballs? <gasps> I can't buy Pokeballs? That's dumb. Oh my gosh. I guess I'm like... I'm so used to being able to buy the basic Pokeballs that I forgot that you can't buy them until you go to Route 2. That's really sad. Okay, we're gonna catch Bird Boy first. We're here to see if you want to convince Lionel to recommend us for the gym challenge. If you want to win my recommendation, um, you have to, um... Oh, so we have to take the train to, um, Piston City, and I'm just gonna call it Piston City. And, um, that's where we start the gym challenge. There's like five Pokemon types that are good against fire. So I kind of want all of those. So we have Pokemon for all five grass weaknesses and Sobble, which is weak to grass. That's okay. Here they celebrate the ceremony, um, oh, the, uh, the inauguration ceremony of the gym challenge. Oh boy, that's a, that's a mouthful. And we're gonna see if I can sweep this thing because I have like two super crazy high levels on my team. Okay. Overconfidence? Maybe. I love Bede. He's such a jerk. Bede is another case of phonemes where everyone in English pronounces his name Bede. Like, come on guys, he's not a Bede. Oh, you have to select your number. Oh no. What is a good number for Lucina? April 20th. So we're gonna go with, that's 420. Okay, let's do uh, 
this instead. You wanna do that? Yeah, because in Europe they write the day first and not the month. We had just avoided tragedy there. Thanks, intuition. The first gym is in, oh no, it's not in this town. It's in, oh, look at that. Look at that, it is Bede. I hope I can read your lines. You, haha, <laughs> <laughs> I can translate that. Oh, I'm gonna teach you um, of my true strength, basically. Finally, what we've been waiting for. Can I go fight the gym now? Oh, this one's annoying, isn't it? It's the Wulu one. Oh boy. The mission of the Pokemon gym of Hoyuela Town is the following. Oh, I have no idea what that's saying, but I know I have to herd the Wulu onto that blue mat um, into like the bales of hay. Oh, I'm like, that wasn't too bad. And then they started flying. Okay. Oh. We're gonna avoid that trainer. Run, run. Oh my gosh, I avoided her. Oh. That was pretty good. Yay, we did it! Oh, okay. Here we go. The final bit. Can I defeat this guy? Um, your comprehension about Pokemon is, um, more something than the something of a... I don't know. Ah, more good music coming our way. All right. Gossifor. Oh my gosh, that thing's a defense heavy thing. Uh, I know what Dynamax is. It lasts three turns. It makes your Pokemon big. 19? What? <coughs> oh gosh, I think all of my Pokemon are under leveled. Okay. I'm gonna need. Oh, what's it? Uh, sorry, Hoot Hoot, I know. Um, Snover has a um, priority move. Yeah. He only has two Pokemon though. I thought he had like three. I love this music so much. Okay. Oh no, he's faster. Level 20. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Snover is like my strongest Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, this is the third turn, isn't it? I might have a move that protects me. I have two protects. So we're gonna, yeah, protect me. So that you go back to your small state. That was the third turn, right? That better have been the third turn. Okay, good. Yeah, no, I'm done. 
Wow. I mean, I thought I would lose one Pokemon, but I forgot that his Pokemon were like level 20. Okay, we he has like two HP left though, so we're not gonna send him to level 19. That's a bit overkill. And we're done. Oh my gosh.